Good morning, everyone. Now, let's uh, talk about Math 6, quarter 2, week 6 na lesson. And it's all about order of operations or simply called GEMDAS. Before we will have our lesson, let's look back to your lesson first. And ang review natin is, you just need to write the base, exponent, the meaning, and value of the following expressions, and number 1 is done for you. So, ito yon. For number 1, um, it shows here 5 cube. At ang ibig sabihin lang ng 5 cube is yung 5 ang base. Okay? Ito yung number na ulit-ulitin mo sa pag-multiply. And then, this one is the exponent, that is 3. Ibig sabihin lang, 3 times or tatlong beses mo ay multiply ang 5. So, ang meaning doon is, multiply mo lang ng, ang 5 ng 5 times 5 times 5. Tatlong, tatlong ulit. And the answer would be 125. Okay? For number 2 naman, eh the, the base is 2. Exponent is 5. So, 5 times, i-multiply ang 2. So, that would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And, ang sagot dyan is 32. Number 3, the base is 3. Okay? And then, exponent is 4. So, apat na beses, i-multiply ang 3. So, again, is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And, that is for a total of 81. Now, the fourth one is... 10 ang base. Ito yung pinakamadali. 10 ang base, then 3 ang exponent. Ibig sabihin tatlong beses, i-multiply ang 10. Yan. And then, that would be 10 times 10 times 10. Now, ang base 10 ay madali lang kuhanin ang sagot kasi bibilang, bibilangin mo lang yung number of zeros. So, so 1, 2, 3, eh di 1,000 ang sagot. Okay, so, with these examples, madali na lang sagutan yung number 5 and number 6, ba? Alright, so before we will talk uh, uh, on GEMDAS, eh, pag-usapan muna natin ang other languages. Okay. So in most languages, the meaning of words depend on the order. So pareho lang din sa Tagalog, pag sinabi mong uh, limang lalaki, iba yan kapag sinabi mong lalaki lima. Parang parang may mali, diba? Parang may mali. So ganun din in... Um, English and in mathematics. So, ano ba ibig sabihin nun? Example natin is, okay, this one. Okay, sign the check. Kapag sinabing sign the check, edi pirmahan ang check eh. Ayan, ba? Kaya lang, it's not the same, or sign the check is not the same as check the sign. Kasi, naiba ang order. Kaya nga, the meaning of words depend on the order. So, kapag nabaligtad na yung order, iba na yung ibig sabihin nun. You need to check the sign. So, kung makakita ka ng sign na ganito, ibig sabihin lang na, ay, left turn yan. ba? Ganun lang yon. So, check the sign is different from sign the check. Kaya, you need to follow order kung ano yung gusto mong uh, iparating. So, kung gusto mong iparating ay mag-sign mag -sign ng check, o di dapat nauna yung sign and then check. Tapos, hindi dapat check the sign. ba? Right? So, when you make cereal, do you fill the bowl with milk or cereal first? Why? So, dito, siguro magkaiba. So, siguro sabi ng iba, ma'am, inuna ko muna yung cereal bago ang milk. Yung iba naman, ma'am, inuna ko po yung milk bago ang cereal. Now, since pinagsama mo lang naman lahat yan, at saka pwede nga ipagsabay mo, walang problema kung saan ang nauna. ba? Kaya lang, naiba yan kung sakali, ayan, magsusuot ka ng shoes. ba? So, kung magsusuot ka ng shoes, at saka may socks, ano ba yung uunahin mo? Socks ba? Or shoes? Bakit kaya? Why? Okay. If ever, ayan o, yung isa, hindi niya sinilagyan ng socks. Na if ever, uunahin mo yung shoes, ihuli mo yung socks, e di mo mali, di ba? So, dapat nauna mo na yung socks bago ang shoes. Kaya, you need to follow a certain order. Right? So, in our lives and in math, we need to do things in a certain order to make sure they turn out right. Para magiging tama, dapat meron tayong susundan no order, ba? And that is where the order of operations 
come into play. Kaya nga doon sa unang slide, nilagay ko doon, order of operations. No, bakit hindi ako dumiretso sa GEMDAS? Because these are all actually order of operations. Okay? And then, pag-usapan na lang natin bakit nagiging GEMDAS. Okay, ayan. So, let's take a look at this um, expression. If we are going to solve this from left to right, Pareho lang ba yan kung if we have the same expression and then we are going to follow the order of operations? Tignan natin ha. Kung mag left to right tayo, edi unahin natin to, di ba? So, that would be 10 plus 8. So, this will be 18 and then kopya na lang to lahat, di ba? So, ayan, 18 and then kinopya dito, kinopya, di ba? And then after that, kasi left to right nga, eto naman ang sunod, di ba? So, that is 18 times 6. So, the answer would be... Ayan, 108, tapos dito divided by 2 squared or simply 4. Diba? And then 108 divided by 4 now is just 27. Now, kung susundan natin yung order of operations, uunahin ito. So, 2 squared is 4, then kopya lahat. Ayan. And then, after that, ito yung sunod. Ayan, so this is 48 and then divided by 4, kopya rin dito. Ayan, ba? And then after that, ito yung kasunod. Okay, so 48 divided by 4, that is 12, and then plus 10. Ayan. So finally, ang answer natin is 22. So kung dito pa lang, makikita mo na na naiba ang sagot kapag left to right ang sinundan natin at kapag sinundan natin ang order of operation. Kaya nga, in mathematics, susundan natin dapat yung order of operations para magkaroon tayo ng parehong sagot. Okay? Right. So, Bakit nga ulit natin gagamitin ang order of operations? Ayan. When an, ex when an expression has more than one operation, you must know which order to solve them in to arrive at the correct answer. So, kapag marami na meron ng addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, dapat alam mo saan ang uunahin para uh, makuha mo yung tamang sagot. So, to make sure everyone gets the same answer, we use the order of operations. So, kapag meron ng series of operations, susundan mo na itong order of operations. Now, ano ba yung order of operations? Okay, the order of operations are a specific set of steps to follow in multi-step problems to ensure that everyone gets the same final answer. So, ibig sabihin lang pala, ang order of operations are steps or set of steps na susundan para makuha mo na yung tamang sagot. And, merong apat na rules in the order of operations. At ano ba ito? Ayan. So, lesson 1 in your module is is all about the four rules of order of operations. Ano yung una? Perform the operations within each of grouping symbols. So, pwedeng parenthesis, brackets, and braces. So, kung ano mang meron sa loob ng parenthesis, brackets, and braces, uunahin mo dapat yan. And, uh, we use letter G for this first rule. Kasi, G stands for grouping. And then, step number two, or rule number two, simplify the expression with exponents. So, yung may mga exponents na ginawa natin kanina, dapat yun ang pangalawang gagawin. And then, number three, perform multiplication and division as they occur. Now, bakit tat pangatlo lang ito? E, multiplication and division yan. Dahil, pwedeng mauna ang division, pwedeng mauna ang multiplication, um as they occur from your expression. So, kung nauna sinulat yung division, unahin mo yung division. Kung nauna yung multiplication, unahin mo yung division. Multiplication. Kaya, kaya nga, one rule lang siya. Multiplication and division. In the same way, addition and subtraction din ay isang rule lang din. So, perform addition and subtraction as they occur from left to right. 
Kaya nga, apat na steps lang. At dahil, okay, ginamitan natin ng mga words, uh, ng mga letters dito. Kung titignan mo, this is G-E-M-D-A-S. So, etong rules na ito, ito yung ngayon ang tinatawag nating GEMDAS. So, when you talk about order of operations, ibig sabihin lang nun, you are going to use the rules and the rules mismo ay yung jemdas. Okay? Now, there are times na maririnig mo ay hindi jemdas kundi pemdas. Now, bakit? Kasi ang G, imbis na G ang ginamit, ginamit ang P. So, jemdas, pemdas, pareho lang yun, ha? So, this is just the jemdas rule. And, paano ba siya, uh, paano ba siya maikumpare? Pwede mo itong ikumpare ka sa, ano nyo, sa laro nyo, yung piko. Okay? So, mauna muna sa G, ayan, and then, kasunod ang E. So, yung first rule, walang ibang kasunod, e di second rule. And then, after the second rule, okay, kaya nga magkasama yan, ibig sabihin, ayan, mula dito, pwede kang pumunta sa multiplication, pwede lens din sa division. Kaya nga, third rule siya, pangatlo. Mula dito, ayan o, first step, second step, third step. So, depende na lang sa'yo saan ka mauna. Uuna ka ba? Uuna ka ba sa division? Or uunahin mo ba yung multiplication? Ayan yun ha. And then, the fourth step, is addition and subtraction. Again, depende kung saan ang nauna. Kaya, kung dito ka, yung last step mo, pwede kang pumunta sa A, kasi may option naman, pwede rin pumunta sa S. Depende sa operation, uh, depende sa equation na binigay. Okay? Kung dito ka naman, pwede ka rin pumunta sa S, pwede rin sa A. Kaya nga, mula dito, isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. Kaya nga, four rules lang. And yung four rules mismo, ayon na yung GEMDAS rule. So, ito yung sinusundan natin for the order of operations. So, kapag naka, nakarinig ng order of operations, GEMDAS lang yun ha, or PEMDAS. Okay? And the GEMDAS stands for, ayan, it's an acronym for the words groupings, okay? And then exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Okay? Now, let's have this example. Okay. You have there 14 divided by 7 times 2 plus 3 minus 4. So, kung makikita mo, apat ang operation. So, again, kapag marami ang operations, GEMDAS rule ka na ulit. So, following GEMDAS rule, edi dapat na una yung groupings, di ba? E dahil walang groupings, edi diretsyo sa'yo sa susunod. Edi second rule, exponent. E walang exponent ulit dito, walang exponent. E di doon na tayo sa third rule, which is multiplication and division. Kaya nga, in your module, nakalagay doon, ang susundan mo is rule number 3. And, eto yun. Diba? So, depende ko ano ang nauna. Since nauna ang division, e di mauna tayo with this one. Diba? From left to right na tayo dyan. Diba? So, 14 divided by 7, this is 2. Tama? And then, kopya lang lahat ito. Ayan. Oh. So, tignan na. Ito, nandyan siya, ang sagot niya, and then, kopya lahat. Okay? And then, after that, e di may multiplication pa. E di rule number 3 pa rin. Diba? So, this is now 2 times 2. Ayan. Ito yung sagutan natin, which is 4, and then, kopya ulit dito. Ayan. And then, addition and subtraction, ah, addition and subtraction na lang. So, rule number 4 na lang, di ba? So, rule number 4, eh, di mauna tayo dito sa addition kasi siya yung nauna. So, addition tayo, okay, this will be 7, and then minus 4. And then, finally, rule number 4 pa rin, we have 7 minus 4, and that will be 3. Okay? Example number 2. Right. Ayan. So, again, GEMDAS rules. Dapat mauna yung groupings. E, eh, walang groupings dyan. Walang parenthesis. So, diretso tayo sa exponent. Meron ba? Yes. Ito. Meron, ba? So, 4 squared, this will now be, so, ayan, rule number 2. So, this will be 16, and then, kopya lahat. ba? And then, after that, Third rule, multiplication and division na lang. Now, since nauna ang division from left to right, dito tayo mauna. So, this is 16 divided by 8, that would be 2. Yan, so rule number 3, that would be 2. And then, kopya na lang dito lahat. 
Ayan, di ba? And then, multiplication. Again, rule number 3. Di ba? So, 2 times 3, this is now 6. And then, plus 5 minus 2. And then, the rest, addition na lang and subtraction. So, that is now rule number 4. So, 6 plus 5, this is 11 minus 2. Di ba? And then, rule number 4 pa rin, 11 minus 2, that is 9. Now, for number 3, or example number 3, Complicated siya konti. Ayan, o. Kay, bakit? Kasi, titingin tayo sa grouping symbols, di ba? Meron ditong bracket. At ang partner niya ay nandito. Di ba? And then, meron ditong parenthesis. Now, sabi sa grouping symbols, hahana, hahanapin mo ang pinaka-inner. Pinaka-innermost. Pinaka-nasa loob. So, dito tayo mauna. So, since we are using... Um, the first rule, okay, sa so grouping, so this is rule number one, di ba? So, hindi ko na nilagyan dito ha, so unahin natin to. So, ayan, rule number, one, rule number one, lahat ng nasa loob ng grouping symbols muna. E, ito muna tayo mauna, so 11 minus 9, that would be 2, and then, kopya lahat. Ayan, nopya ko yun ha, and then kopya dito, ayan. Okay, and then after that, nawala na yung parenthesis, kaya lang meron pang bracket, kaya dapat dito pa rin tayo sa loob. So, dito sa loob, merong um, subtraction, multiplication, addition, division, and multiplication. So, kahit na sa loob siya ng uh, grouping symbol, dapat susundan pa rin natin ito. So, since uh, merong multiplication and division, uunahin natin ang multiplication kasi ito yung nauna from left to right. So, this is now 3 times 2, that would be 6, ba? And then, Kopya natin to. Ayan. Kopya natin to. Ayan. And then, after that, sa loob pa rin ha, sa loob pa rin. Okay. Ad uh, subtraction na ito. Addition. Eh, di dito tayo sa division. So, division, 14 divided by 7, that is 2. And then, kopya ulit. Mula dito hanggang doon. Ayan. And then, kopya ulit. Diba? And then, multiplication na lang sa loob ng bracket. So, multiplication, this is 4, and then, kopya mula dito. Ayan. And then, kopya ang bracket na lang. Kasi bracket na lang katabi ng 2 dito. Eh, diba? Ayan. And then, ang nasa loob ngayon sa bracket are subtraction na lang and addition. So, mauna tayo dito. 6 minus 6, that is 0. And then, plus 4. And then, kopya dito sa gilid. ba? And then, lastly, mat masasold na natin ang nasa loob ng bracket. So, this is now 4. ba? Ayan. So, since masasold na natin yan, hindi na natin isulat ang bracket. And then, kasi simplified na lahat ng nasa loob. So, 4 na lang. And then, kopya na lang ito. Okay? And finally, we could say that our answer is 16. Okay? Now, lesson 2, evaluating the expressions. Pareho lang dun sa ginawa natin. So, the expression here is this one. So, again, grouping symbols tayo. Gem does. Kaya lang. Ayan. O say, grouping symbols muna nga. 30 divided by 6, that is 5. Diba? So, tanggal na natin ito. Kaya lang, meron pa siya exponent. Kaya ang 5 dito dapat squared. And then, kopya ang lahat. Ayan, so 5 squared, and then kopya, and then ito naman kopya. Tanggal na natin yung parenthesis kasi na-solve na yung 30 divided by 6. Okay, and then after that, okay, exponent na tayo, ba? Kasi kahit nasa loob siya, hindi pwedeng diretso ka. Dapat simplify mo muna exponent. So, this is now 25, and then kopya lahat. Ayan. Okay? And then, after that, finally, masold na natin ang nasa loob ng bracket. So, 5 plus 25 na, and that is 30, and then times 2. Ayan. So, we can now say that our answer is 60. Okay? Now, next, we have this one. So, walang grouping symbols, edi una tayo dito. So, this is now... 64, and then kopya lahat dun. Diba? And then after that, okay, una tayo dito. So, nauna yung division. So, this is 64 divided by 4. That is 16. And then, kopya na mula dito. Ayan. 
ba? And then, ito naman, 16 times 2, that is 32, and then, kopya lahat dito. Ayan. And then, after that, ito na ngayon, add natin. So, 32 plus 21, that is 53, minus 7, and finally, our answer would be 46. Now, the third example in evaluating the expressions is this one. So, dito tayo sa pinakaloob muna. So, 10 times 10 minus 8, that is 2. Tama? Kaya lang, dahil walang, um, walang addition dito, walang operation symbol dito, dapat hindi natin tatanggalin ang parenthesis. Ayan. Nakaparenthesis pa rin siya kasi any number kapag itatabi mo sa parenthesis, it shows multiplication. Kaya, hindi muna natin itatanggal kasi i-multiply i -multiply pa natin yan with 2. So, that would be, so, unahin natin yan dito, 2 times 2, that would be 4, and then kopya lahat. Ayan, so, 4, and then ito mula dito, kinopya natin. And then, ito mula, do, uh, mula dito hanggang doon, kinopya natin. Okay? And then, ulit, nasa loob pa rin dapat tayo, ha? So, ang nasa loob ngayon is may division pa. So, division muna tayo, kasi siya yung nauna sa multiplication. So, 12 divided by 6, that is 2. ba? And then, uh, kopya na lang lahat. Ayan, so... 2, and then times 1, ayan siya. And then dito, kinopya din natin, ayan siya. And then after that, may multiplication pa, sa so unahin mo na natin to. So, this is 2, and then kopya mo ito hanggang dun. Ayan. And then, una mo na ito, 4 minus 4, that's 0, plus 2. Ayan, and then, times dito. And then, you now have 2, times 3, and that is 6. Alright? Now, remember, for GEMDAS rules, you need to perform the operation within each pair of grouping symbols, parentheses, brackets, and braces, beginning with the innermost pair, and it stands for G, okay? And then number two, simplify the expression with exponents, that is E. Third rule, perform multiplication and division as they occur from left to right, that is why ginamitan natin ng M and D. And then yung fourth rule, perform addition and subtraction as they occur from left to right, which is AS and stands for addition and subtraction. So, all in all, this is the GEMDAS rule or GEMDAS rules. Alright? Now, for your activity, okay, just answer the crossword puzzle and then Evaluate the following, write your final answer in the box. Both number one across and number one down is done for you. Ayan siya. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ito yung number one across. So, ito yung sagot dito sa expression na to. And then, number one down, 36. Ayan yung sagot dito sa expression na to. And, um, pwede mong i-check kung tama ba yung number one and number two. Now, try natin with this one. Okay, um, so una tayo with this one. This is 2 times 4, and this is 8, diba? So, 8, and then kopya lahat. So, wala na itong parenthesis, kopya mo na lang yung plus 12. Okay, so pwede mong ganon, iganon. So, do it in a scratch paper. Tapos, kung ano mo yung sagot, yun ay sulat mo dito, diba? And then, after that, kopya din ito. Okay. Kopya, the 2, and then times, and then 5. Diba? And then after that, okay, dahil may multiplication pa, okay, uunahin natin ito. So, this is rule number 3, multiplication. Diba? So, 5 times 2, this is 10. And then, kopya lahat ulit. Kopya mula dito hanggang dun. So, that is plus 8. And then, plus 12. Okay? And then, mula dito, that would be 10 plus 8. So, this is 18. And then, plus 12. And then, this is now for a total of 30. So, tama ba yun? Number 1 across. Yes, ayan siya o, oh, 30. 
di ba? Then for the the down, okay? Pwede to yung mauna dito kasi innermost, di ba? So 2 plus 1 that is, that is 3. Now, pwede na rin nating i-solve ang 5 plus 4 diyan. So this is just 9. Di ba? And then Okay, tanggal na yung parenthesis kasi na-solve na natin. Ang bracket na lang ang kopyahin natin. So, bracket, bracket, and then times 3. Okay, and then after that, edi, ito muna, dahil ito yung nasa loob, grouping symbol sa so Gemdas. So, 3 plus 9, this is 12. Okay. Natanggalin na natin yung bracket kasi na-solve na natin ang nasa loob. So, diretso ka na lang dito. This is times 3. So, what is 3 times 12? This is 36. Diba? And, masasabi natin na ang number 1 down, which is 36, ay tama. Okay? So, sana naintindihan. And then, para mas lalong uh, makukuha yung uh, order of operations, uh, do it on a scratch paper. Okay? And then, check nyo kung tama yung sagot nyo. Okay?